This is Remnants of Red coming to you with your girl Nora. And Josie M. AKA No No. And JoJo. <laughs> so I know you are looking at us wondering why are we talking to you? Mm-hmm. What is this box about? And I'm glad you asked. Mm-hmm. So we came up with this concept called Thinking Out of the Box. And, you know, we are answering questions that we have no idea what the question is. We don't know what we're going to pick out the box. So we're just going to like open the box and just dig in and bring out a question. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, the answer that we give you are answer are our answers that we hope will encourage all of you, um, based on our experiences, based on so many things in our lives that uh, we're hoping that you can relate to. And so, you know, us answering, you know, although it may not necessarily be your answer, but at least you can take something away. Yeah. To your I life. feel like from what she said to me, I feel like these questions are questions I wish someone asked me at some point in my life. And, you know, I would have been able to like at least think about them and have answers for them. And then it would be opening me up to so much more. So I'm grateful to have this to try to see what's in here and see what comes out. Oh, no. You have to go, Joe? Yeah. Ask on any question or we have to answer what I think we out. have to answer what comes out. All right. Okay. And P.S. We are going to be as transparent and as honest as possible mm-hmm. because we need, we need you to come along with us. All right. So there we go. Thinking out the box. Yeah. Okay, wait. I wasn't supposed to look. I'll just move them around and pick a question. Who's going to... You read the question, though, after I pick it. Okay, okay. I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um. Okay, here we go. What big life changes have you recently experienced, and how did those changes impact your life? You go first. Man, yeah. this is one you actually have to okay. think about. You don't just go, oh, I know, I know. I, know, I know. have to think about that one. Um, life, what are we talking about? Life change. I'm going with the the first thing that comes to my mind that just popped up in my mind and it has to do with my job. Uh, this July will be two years that I'll be, you know, working at my job. But to me, it's just not any old job. Because first of all, the journey before then, um, I used to, you know, uh, work at a supermarket because um, I was home with um, my newborn at the time. And it came to a point where I had to get up, get out and, you know, find some way to get income coming. So I end up just out of, you know, just out of applying, say, apply at um, a supermarket, right? And going to work at this supermarket, there is... Hmm? Look in the camera. Oh. Sorry. Can y'all tell that I'm shy? Yeah, we're very really nervous. Like, <laughs> this is the first video and we're nervous. I don't know why, but... Even this is exciting. This is very exciting to us because we're the type of people who will ask ourselves these questions and have like three, four hour conversations, yeah, like on our own. So we yeah. we are bringing us just doing you. it in front of you. It's a little nerve wracking, but we'll get through it. We'll so get she's through looking it. up and I'm like, look at the camera. Okay. All right. All right. Uh-huh. So um, on the way to work, um, I remember seeing this office park, you know, a mm-hmm. building. So I don't know what prompted me. I just looked at the building Mm -hmm. and I pointed and I said, this is where my next job is going to be. Never been there. Didn't know what companies were in there or whatever. Then um, kind of fast forward, I met um, a young lady who um, I was very, um, what do you call it? Like inside of me, something was like, go to her, ask her. Mm-hmm. You know, if she knows of a place that's hiring, and I had already felt defeated, like, mm-hmm. like I'm not gonna ask another person. Mm-hmm. But I know how that feeling. Oh is. my god! Yeah. So, but I, I went to go to make a long story short. 
I got called for an interview, yeah. um, second interview, second letter. Excited, mm -hmm. excited. But what made this like a major life, a major life change for me is that um, it became a supplier, like uh, a, of provider, a provider mm -hmm. of getting so many things done for you know, like my children mm -hmm. and you know, uh, just life. Period. Yeah. You know, I've never, I've never worked in corporate America. I've, you know. It just felt great being able to, you know, shop for my children, being able to, you know, take my family out on trips. Last year was the first time that we'd ever gone on a vacation before. Mm -hmm. And I know that sounds cheesy and normal. But it's the truth, people, right? But, but it's so much the truth. Like, mm -hmm. I've never, I've never, you know, been able to do that. Mm -hmm. My son just went to college. I'm able to pay his tuition. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm able to pay for my child's daycare. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing like that feeling when your child comes home and they're like, "Mommy, I need this." And you can I get need, it, and you <laughs> and yeah. I can get it. Yeah. So that's again, you know, and this came at a time where you know my life was going haywire because of a situation. So this was like a, a rainbow, like a saving grace. Yes. Um, so you started, I, my head was turning. I was like thinking, and the thing that obvious to me is the most obvious is a major life change is, you know, introducing another child into, you know, yeah. our family, right? That's boss a major baby. life boss baby. That's we call him. Name, boss baby. <laughs> so, um, yeah, to me, that's a major life experience that definitely, you know, changed me or, you know help me go through some more growth in my life because I already had a daughter that was, I believe at that time she was nine and my son was at seven. And um, yeah, so then we were pregnant with another child and that was time for me to actually go back to work. And just a few months later, I, we found out we were pregnant with our third child. And for me, I just, when I'm telling you, I was so ready to go back to work and not be home. <laughs> First of all, I fought against being a stay-at-home mom for so long. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I'm like, I'm going to work. You know, I'm going to be like a working mother. And that happened. And that was like a major, like, shapeshifter. So, you know, now I'm going through having my daughter, which is a huge blessing, having a daughter and then being home, taking care of her, which is another huge blessing. Um, I think what it taught me, it's kind of like extending or still working on my patience because there's things that I wanted to be done my way. You know, sometimes you have plans and you want it to be done your way, but life has other plans for you. I think that was the biggest thing for me. And that was a huge, what is it? A huge experience that, you know, recently yeah, happened in my right. life and impacted my life in a major way. So, yeah. What do you mm. think about that? I mean, the, the, the beautiful thing about these things and uh, circumstances that, you know, impact our lives is how we received it. Yeah. You know, that yeah. causing us Did to... We learn the lesson yeah. behind it, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good one. I think a lot of things that we go through in life, there's a lesson to be learned behind it. Mm -hmm. It's not all... The lesson is it's not always going to turn out how you planned it to, but there's a bigger plan behind it. And there's a bigger plan behind, you know, us bringing another child into this world. You know, God bringing another child into this world through our family. Mm -hmm. There is, there's a grander plan behind it. And we have to see what is the lesson behind that? What was I supposed to learn from this experience? Um, and that's a major thing, right? It's a major thing. And, um, you know, with, you know, the, the, the job that I mentioned, um, you know, what's even more amazing about it is that it, it accommodates. It has, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know, God, God is just amazing, you mm -hmm. know, it accommodate my life. Absolutely. Like I've had to quit. I've yeah. had to quit a job yeah. because of uh, my, ch my children. Like oh. my, when Judah, around the time Judah was born. Yeah. Like there was, it was horrible. They had horrible laws mm -hmm. with the family care act mm -hmm. and all that 
um, I think that's what I would have called it. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's it was horrible back then, so I had to leave. There's times you have to leave. Yeah, I had Listen, to leave the job. I think it, that's why, and that's why, in my case, it it became for our family that it's easier for me to stay home because it's so hard having three children. Being, and you know, thank God I can do that. Being a working mom and knowing you have to constantly leave work, and so it's amazing when a job actually accommodates that because I know how hard it is, and that's why I, you know, we chose for me to stay home and be able to like do that anytime they have half a day or anytime someone's not feeling well they can stay home yeah. or you know so that's how it worked out like for my family yeah. and thank god for that but you know in the same yeah. token is still teaching me patience and waiting for the right time for any certain thing to happen in life um so yeah so we would like you to ask yourself this question or ask a friend so you guys can have that conversation together like we just did mm -hmm. That was a heavy question, though. That wasn't even for all of them like that. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh my. So y'all might want to come back and yeah. see what the next question is. Comment mm -hmm. below. That's Please right, do so because I know, I know there is someone else out there that will need to, you know, read mm -hmm. about your experience, your yeah. answer, your situation. It's all about the next person. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the next person benefiting from what? your lesson. And if there's any question that uh you believe that we should be asking or putting in ourselves, the box, that yeah. would be good too. Yeah. If you have a question that we should put in this box, then please comment below and we will definitely definitely yeah. look into it. Yeah. So, this is JoJo and No No coming to ya. Coming to ya. Now we gotta go go. Mm -hmm. So come back next week for the next big thinking out the box. Thinking out the box. Bye. Bye.